Welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Martin and in this video I intend to show you the result of a few nights of imaging with my Celestron C8. It has been a long time since my previous video and this was due to something new, a new feature that is added to the ASI Air platform that I use. Among many other things, plan mode was added. This is a feature I was hoping for and boy did ZWO deliver. It means I can now plan to shoot multiple objects during one session. This has one big downside though. Shooting many objects also means many things to post-process. Luckily I have that streamlined quite some bit due to the power of Cyril. See my speedrun video for more details on that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First we need to wait for the clouds to disappear and have the mount and telescope set up. In my lawn I have three points marked with a red marker and this allows me to put my telescope tripod about in the correct position to be uh, polar aligned already. This speeds things up. As you know I like speed. Speaking of speed let's speed this up as well because you have all already seen how to set up a CEM40 mount with a Celestron C8 in my previous video where I detailed that. So what is this new feature? To explain this more clearly I can first show you the auto run feature of the ASI Air. In it you can set up your lights, your darks, your flats, whatever and the downside to this is that you can only do this for one object. So if you plan to shoot multiple objects during the night, perhaps for instance because the object that you want to shoot is only visible from a certain time in the night, but you want to not waste the darkness, um, then you can set up a plan where you can yeah, first shoot a target that is uh, already visible and then from a certain amount of lights you can switch over to a different target. This allows for something very interesting. We can now use the ASI Air to plan a mosaic. A mosaic of for instance an object that is too large for your specific telescope. In my case a C8 it has a very tiny field of view. It's about 1300 millimeters focal length with the reducer that I am using. So this means that popular targets that are currently visible such as the Leo triplet they just are a little bit too big for my field of view. But with this new feature I can plan a mosaic and this means that I can make for instance three or four or five or even more images stitch them together later and then have my wide field telescope kind of view. To put this feature to the real test I thought why not do an image consisting out of five separate images. This is the Markarian's chain. Markarian's chain? Markarian's... I have no idea how to pronounce it. The chain of galaxies in Virgo. You can build up your mosaic in the plan mode by setting each panel of the uh, end result as a separate object. Uh, for now you have to do this manually. I can foresee that uh, future versions will allow this within the app itself. Um, I used Stellarium here to create this uh, plan. Uh, but you can also use sites like telescopius.com to create uh, the coordinates for the mosaic. So without further ado, let's go look at the results that I got in the previous clear nights that I had in Holland.
Hi there. This is me doing what Luke always does, speaking at the telescope. But it's very quiet. I'm never outside with the telescope. What am I doing here? See, there's a moon. And this means that um, I'm using the L extreme now. Shooting the cat's eye nebula. I think I'll uh, go inside again before the neighbors call the police or something. Mm.